and then you can do the same in canter. So canter over the poles, square turn, canter over the pole, square turn, canter over the pole, square turn, canter over the pole. And this is not an exercise in just hitting every pole spot on. It's an exercise in sitting, carrying a good canter, and letting the horse adjust underneath you, just like you'd expect them to do to a fence. None of us, and I repeat, none of us, not Nicholson, not Fox Pit, get the perfect stride every time. The difference is some of us have our horses trained. If we don't get the perfect stride, they still know what to do. So if they fall in the muddle and get disunited or break to trot, it's not a big deal. You make a circle, you pick up your canter, you go again. And I've positioned the pole so you can get past the outside of them. So if you lose your canter, come around the outside, make a circle, go again. It's an exercise in practicing the imperfect. And then as you get better, you could start to add those circles in maybe 15 meter circles depending on the space of your arena but with all these exercises and particularly at this time when we can't go out we can't do things the key is to not wreck everything you've done this winter patience and simplicity in my opinion is the key attributes needed at the moment